CJ Thinker, welcome. One video per day until the Christmas day. What do you think about that? I have a lot of new users after this Black Friday and I have a lot of questions uh, on the Discord. And yes, of course, for everyone is <laughs> the first time with Fluent, but for others is the first time in the art surface modeling and for other is the first time in Blender. I think it's a good idea. I will take every day one question on my Discord and I will make one video about this question. So this is the first question. Hey Rudy, what is this weird result? Ugh. Okay, this is what we call an overlapping. And when happening, when you have something like a cube, for example, with a bevel, and I, make a, uh, I will make a cut on this object, like this, okay? And I will uh, have a problem, I will move it to try to remake this, okay? As you can see, uh, come on, come on, lag, okay? As you can see, you have this bad result. This is because Blender add automatically this edge here, okay? This edge is placed by Blender to support the Boolean operation, okay? So it's why we called these two edges support edges, okay? So what is your job? Your job is to place your own edges to avoid this one. So just select the object, the object which is cut. Go to edit mode and add an edge loop like this, okay? The rule is to place the edge like, like that. The edge cross your Boolean object, okay? Not here, it's absolutely useless here, <laughs> useless here, useful here, okay? So place it here, if this is the right place, okay? And back to object mode. And as you can see, Blender didn't add the edges because you already placed them, okay? So the result is perfect, yes? So just one other example of this technique is when you have a fluent object instead of the default cube of Blender. So. Okay, I have uh, my object like that. I will make a cube on it, like that. I will, uh, okay, I have a bad result. Okay, I have my overlapping here, it's very bad. So you will say, okay, okay, I understand already. I just press tab and, and, and oh, it's a plane. <laughs> yes, yes, it's a plane because in Fluent, every object are just plain, okay, plain with modifier stack uh, but the way is the same press ctrl r and add your edge okay but this time because it's a fluent object stay in edit mode and keep your edge selected then press f3 okay and search vg cleaner and use it if you display the wireframe you can see you have a perfect result and you can continue to work, continue to edit your object, everything like you, like you want, okay? So the result is perfect in this time. That was the first video. See you tomorrow. Bye.